The man is a joker. <laughs> How can you say he's fed well? A president that is flip flopping at all times, hardly seen to be proactive. No, we don't have a president. In fact, we don't have a government. We don't have a government. Policies that are not well thought out can never help the system. Nigeria is on the brink of collapse. Nigeria is hemorrhaging. So that, what policy are we talking about? Is it the policy of fuel, remo fuel subsidy removal, which I think is a scam? Because they are still paying fuel subsidy. Naira is like uh, cigarette paper. And what policy can we talk about? So there, there is no policy that has given Philip to the economy. I haven't seen any. N there is no policy that has helped the Naira. The governments attacked the cryptocurrency, believing that, no, the, the, the Bureau de Change, believing they were the cause of the uh, reduction in the value of the Naira. Mad as it seemed, it seemed to have had a, a little effect. Naira came down to about a thousand to one, but now it's about 1.5, is it 1.4, 1.5? Because there's no clear policy. They are going after cryptocurrency people now, believing that they're the cause of the problem. No, the government doesn't have any understanding of the workings of the economy, micro and macro, none whatsoever. They are torturing, they are tinkering. And that's why I say that Nigeria is hemorrhaging. You say help the government, how, how do you expect him to help the government? The man is talking to everybody. He's been going all over the country, talking to people, going over the world, talking to people, espousing his doctrine and policies. If the government listens to his ideas, borrow from it, there's nothing wrong in it. But you would want him to come and sit in the parlor with you and perhaps sit down with Bola Tinubu or whoever it is and say, oh boy, this is how we go. No, you, uh, uh, government doesn't work like that. You could borrow ideas from somebody from what they say. But if the government doesn't want to look at that and they want him to come, I've heard that said many times, that P2B should come and join them. Join you in what way? He has told you that your policies are wrong and given ideas of how you can ameliorate the problems and the sufferings of the society. Borrow it from them. But if you don't, well, too bad. We'll keep hemorrhaging until one day Nigerians can take it no more. And you know what happens when the popular revolution starts. You don't know whose ox is going to be God then.